In a world awash with polymer, striker-fired pistols, the tried-and-true 357 Magnum revolver soldiers on. What gives? Truth be known, the revolver cartridge combination is a proven, reliable, popular, and powerful system, still considered by many among the most trustworthy for self-defense. For the better part of the 20th century, perhaps only the 38 Special overshadow its use by law enforcement. And, in this role, few other sidearms built a better reputation for neutralizing deadly threats. Today, there's a slew of 357 Magnum revolvers worth considering, if the wheelie and cartridge fit your particular lifestyle. We've chosen 10, we believe, excel in this role. This caliber is by far the most versatile, and we made sure that the revolver is the perfect match for its power. Ruger Red Hawk The Red Hawk is a compact handgun chambered in a caliber sufficient to provide emergency defense against large, aggressive animals or people, while camping, hunting, or on the trail in remote, rugged areas. The all-stainless steel, double-action revolver ushered in several features that would carry over into the GP100 and SP101 revolver lines, including a single spring to cycle both the hammer and the trigger, a strong monolithic frame, offset cylinder notches, a triple locking cylinder, and adjustable target sights. A transfer bar safety prevents the revolver from firing if dropped. Other standard features include smooth hardwood grips, an adjustable rear sight, and replaceable front sight. While the 8 shot 357 Magnum Red Hawk could make for a concealed carry piece with the right wardrobe holster, we feel this is more of a home defense nightstand gun, or maybe a good sidearm for hunting and fishing, if you can tolerate the weight. Korth Mongoose Are you unfazed by the classics? It's time to move on to the opulent environment. The Korth Mongoose is a modern high-end revolver that falls into a category on its own. With combined effort of German's Korth Waffen and U.S. Nighthawk Custom, we probably got the best performing revolver up to this date. It's truly a Rolex of guns, to put it that way. This is a straightforward six-shot double-action revolver with adjustable sights. The meticulous detail, finish sights, trigger, and versatility are amazing. It's very accurate and a pleasant shooting experience. The Mongoose provides a level of versatility not seen in any other revolver on the market. A push of a button and a quick change of the cylinder converts this 357 Magnum into a 9mm revolver. The single action trigger pull is 3.5 pounds and smooth as silk. Of course, it's all champagne and roses until we get to the price. Yes you can find a decent used car for the same price. However, if you can afford it and you want to, it's a hell of an investment. Kiapo Rhino 40DS Kiapo Rhino is one of the sexiest, best shooting, and most innovative revolvers on the market. The Italian handgun's state-of-the-art technology and components combine to offer an insanely comfortable shooting experience that you must see to believe. The 40DS is a double single action revolver that shoots from the bottom cylinder, unlike most of its rival counterparts. The Rhino's barrel placement effectively lowers its center of gravity, which in turn drastically reduces muzzle rise and perceived recoil. Furthermore, the Rhino was crafted to have the bore more in line with the shooter's arm, which offers a more natural point and shoot ability. These features combine with an extremely ergonomic design to provide shooters with faster follow-up shots and increased reliability. The fiber optic rear adjustable sights and fiber optic front sight are an added bonus for this already unique revolver. The grip is made out of walnut and is laser engraved to give off a good feel while firing. The accessory rail on the bottom allows for added attachments like flashlights and laser sights. The Rhino 40DS really is a great choice if you're looking for something different in the revolver category. Kimber K6S Kimber put thought into what makes a solid concealed carry revolver, and it shows in its K6S line. Easy to keep under wraps, but not at the expense of controllability, 
the nifty snub nose heaters present armed citizens with the whole package. To boot, they're lookers. Too bad the guns are meant to avoid the light of day most of their lives. Kimber bills its 2-inch barreled K6S as the lightest 6-round 357 Magnum revolver on the market. But don't let that spook you. The gun is still substantial at 23 ounces and eats a majority of recoil. Also, don't let the extra round in a concealed carry model fool you either. It's still very easy to fit inside the waistband or pocket. In part, this is thanks to milled flats on the stainless steel gun cylinder that keep it nearly as felt as five round options. The K6S design is sleek, reducing the chances of hanging up on the draw. Hastened further by a concealed hammer, the gun also sports a top notch trigger with a light, for double action, only 9 pound break. With practice, it runs fast. One more thing actual front and rear sights earn the K6S extra points. As far as model, the stainless steel is the most affordable, but the DCR adds a touch of class with rosewood grips. Smith & Wesson Model 640 A staple in Smith & Wesson's J-Frame catalog, the Snubby's 357 Magnum revolver is a gem of its class. Constructed of all stainless steel, the rugged double action only likely has the chops to be handed down to a son or daughter one day. And, like most J's, is a fairly easy affair to conceal. How about to shoot? It's about as pleasurable as this sized Magnum gets. It certainly doesn't get the nod for weekend plinker, but at a hefty 22 ounces, the 640 sets shooters up for success. Smith & Wesson offers the plain Jane version of the Concealed Hammer 640 and a Performance Center Pro Series option. With about $100 between the two models, the PC upgrade is worth the money, delivering not only a more attractive gun, but some notable enhancements. The three that pop out on the five-round revolver are rear and front tritium drift adjustable sights, a cylinder cut to accept moon clips, and a PC-tuned trigger. Yeah, it's still as heavy as a kettlebell, but boy, is it smooth. Colt King Cobra Carry The reboot of the Colt Python has somewhat overshadowed the King Cobra in the public's eye. Nevertheless, it does little to diminish the snub-nosed 357 Magnum Revolver's performance in its main role, on-person self-defense piece. Plus, it's a Colt snake gun, which is inherently cool. All stainless steel and nearly a full-sized grip, the King is a fairly polite piece, one that, with some practice, runs fast and accurate. Part of this is thanks to the six-round revolver's weight, which is an ample 26 ounces unloaded. But the trigger also deserves kudos. Again, compared to a pistol, it's substantial, but responsive. A full lug adds a level of protection to the ejection rod, ensuring it doesn't get skewed in everyday rough and tumble. And Hogue over-molded grips with finger grooves adds another level of control to the handgun. Most will appreciate the bobbed hammer on the DOA variation. However, if you can't live without a hammer spur, there is a carry iteration with one. At the risk of drawing the ire of Colt fans, the cylinder lock isn't intuitive for those who haven't run the revolver previously. But this facet isn't generally a hindrance, once familiar with the system. Smith & Wesson Performance Center Model 327 The Smith & Wesson Performance Center Model 327 is a pistol that's aimed at closing the revolver semi-auto gap. It's built with the most modern materials and is well-designed and well-balanced. As for materials, the frame is made from extra-strong scandium aluminum alloy. The cylinder and barrel shroud are made of titanium, and the 2-inch barrel is constructed of stainless steel. This combination of materials keeps the weight of the gun down to a carry-friendly 22.6 ounces, making it the lightest end-frame revolver I've ever tested. Even so, it handles the recoil of magnum loads very well. It does not have the capacity of a double-stack semi-auto, or even a stack and a one-half subcompact auto pistol. It does, though, have moon clips that are probably the fastest way to reload a revolver, and clearly are the most secure method of carrying a revolver reload. 